Greetings and welcome, one and all, to another cast of Beyond All Reason. I am your host, Seto Kaiva, and today we are watching a game on Comet Catcher. This is a windless map, so wind generators are going to have absolutely no value here. It'll be all about the solar, all about that sweet, sweet money, that metal. Look at that. There are rarely so many metal extractor spots, so thick, so rich, all together. I mean, there are hardly even any usual 3-max spots. They're just so c clustered together. So, metal makers, or energy converters as they're called, are not really that useful either, which convert it at a 60 to 1 ratio. That, that That's terrible, honestly. But that takes three solar collectors, 450 metal for the solar, just to make one, one metal for the energy cost there. But it's going to be all about the solar collectors, all about the rushes, I would think. Even on a map with this much open ground. Vehicles, vehicles are king here. Bots, not so much. Let's go ahead and start this up. We're prone to see a lot of cars, I'm pretty sure. A lot of tanks, a lot of flashes for arm, a lot of instigators for core. We're going to see who's who in just a second. We have Zuck Zuck and... Nobi on the right. Yeah, I know you. Nobi is Armada, and Zuck Zuck is also Armada. Wait, nope. Oh, Cortex. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Sabatai and Flower on the left. Okay, these are very, very high-level players here, as you can see. Little numbers here. If you, I don't know if you can see them quite. These represent true skill. At the higher, if it's above 30, that you know that player is winning a lot of games against higher-level players. Flower has gone Armada, and Sabatai has core... Oh, bots? That, that's, that's actually really surprising. On a map like this, I would have thought vehicles. Vehicles, there it is. There's another bots. Uh, for Armada, it's not such a big deal. I mean, Armada gets the flea. Armada's fleas are... How fast are they? They are 132. That... <laughs> okay. Yeah, fleas definitely move about as fast as a um, T1 land scout vehicle. They can get all the way around, sneak past, n n radar will spot them. Even on behind the blind spots here, which there aren't quite so many, but uh, fleas, yep, there they are, will get right around the flanks. They, if they find an undefended metal extractor, these things are weak, but they have just enough damage to kill something very quickly. If it's if it if they not die first, <laughs> so what are we gonna see here? He's just now building his vehicle plant, so we've got arm vehicles versus core vehicles and arm bots versus core bots. So this is actually a pretty good mirror matchup, actually. So there is so much unclaimed metal here in the middle. This is king. You own the middle. You own everything. Although that's actually not so true when the flanks are this open. I mean, look, look at this. Let's say you're here. Let's say you're Zuck Zuck or you're Flower, you're rolling right up through here. You can claim the middle, Max is here. You can claim even mush up here, but if your enemy's here, here, this, they get around the sides, they can just swoop right in and flank you dead with anything they have. Oh, weasels. Uh, are they gonna find... ooh, he's got one AK. That That's plenty. I mean, it's just scouts. He's got one AK to defend these <laughs> nestled in little metal extractors. That's cute. It is so cute. But yes, these things, sellers are good armor for mechs as they close up when they're shot. Ah, uh, what are we gonna see? Coming up. Construction vehicle? Metal extractor there. He's gonna push up. That That's risky. Um, not so risky in a two versus two, because, you know, you have two commanders on either team. You can afford to lose one. Oh, he got it. Uh, caught both of them. That's terrible. But the radar... Yep. Saw it. Intercepted. Scouts just lose to infantry so quickly. Just one of these will be perfect for blocking any attack. There aren't even any light laser towers, really. All it takes is, is um, the attack tier one infantry, and it can stop those early rushes. They're not even really rushes, they're just probes. 
probing attacks, find out what your opponent's doing, see if you can just kill a little economy. No, oh, he's got one there, though. So he's definitely pushing up. He's trying to take the middle metal. He's going to build laser towers here. Right in this little nestled spot, which is pretty king. Oh, yeah. There are a few hills. I wouldn't even call them hills, really. These are craters. I mean, if you look at it right, you can build stuff in here. You can actually secret an army in here in one of these craters. Radar couldn't even see them. It's not at the right angle. The radar just can't see anything that gets in these if they pass through here. It's a perfect flank. You can take your armies through here and just hide them until you're ready to go. It's pretty devastating if it does happen to you, so you just gotta watch for that. Although not everyone really does it that much. Because there's so much open ground to worry about. Mm-hmm. Noby. And, oh, everyone's going the middle with the commanders, so... This is risky. This is risky, but it's kind of what you have to do. Oh my gosh. The commanders really have to be up front with that build power to cam capture as much as they can. But, oh, oh, Sabotai built the radar. He's on the ball. He's going to see Zuck's commander. He, he's got to know what it is, too, because... After you played for so long, you come to realize what the movement speed of each individual unit is. You know, something that moves that fast, builds that fast, it, it can't be just a bot. It can't be a construction bot. It has to be a commander, which builds three or four times as quickly as a regular bot. Ah, uh, flower facing off. Light laser tower. If he lets him get it up, but the Crescent Commander is there to stop it. Uh, radar left. Radar back here. Yeah. The forward radar here, it will see almost everything. Jeez. Doesn't see Zuck through here, but Sabs does. Uh, this is the standoff. <laughs> this is... This is really a weird part of the game. Uh, the LLT standoff. when Or the LLT creep, sometimes it's called. You, you just keep building light defenses. You move forward. You capture metal extractors while you're building your energy back here. You build your solar collectors, and you just have to keep massing everything up. And you defend what you can, and you try to mass up enough units because it takes it, it takes some time. It takes even vehicles some time. Oh, oh, instigators versus AKs. I don't like this. Oh, the instigators, if they if they just charge right on the head, the AKs can probably have a chance, but instigators. The core light tanks, they have lasers just like AK, so they can't even use their range advantage. They have more damage, they have more, a lot more health, but there can be more AKs per instigator. Almost three bots per tank. So, not quite the, the wipe that it looks like it would be normally. Of course, in that case, yeah. Ooh. They're gonna do a lot of damage there. Hmm, what do we got? Are there tanks? There are. Ooh. Yep. There it is. Ah, oh, Armada's Janus. <laughs> Facing up against the forward factory of Novi, he's getting Janus too. Oh boy. Janus is a really devastating unit with a very long reload time for its rockets, but it oh, packs a huge punch. They're like siege tanks. If you can use them right, the damage, what is it, like 660? Yeah, for both rockets. They will kill a commander in just five shots. Five shots for that many Janus's if you have them will just completely kill the commander instantly. And they can really mess up everything else with their area of effect rockets. Uh, these things would get messed up if they don't die, all die in the first shot. Oh, Nobis got 15 more coming. Peewees, we know how good those are. Even on a map this open. Hmm. So, yep. Steady expanding. Everything seems pretty normal. Tab out here. You can see the overview map. Yep. Five instigators there. Hitting the AKs. Equal number of AKs will lose to equal number of instigators unless they're microed really well. Peewee's kind of not committing to taking down the commander. 
Thanks to the Janus being there, especially. Oh, what do we got here? We have artillery. Yes. This is this would break the standoff normally if there wasn't these things. The missile trucks, oh my gosh, are so annoying. The missile trucks have like so much range, they can outrange everything up to like heavy laser towers. Which are another tier one structure. Costs like four times as much as the Roma one. Oh, sorry, let me take the metal map out. There we go. Uh Flower Buddy, why are you making energy converters? That's... You're wasting. <coughs> sorry. Oh my gosh, sorry. <laughs> it's got the storage. But converters are really kind of a waste. I mean... <coughs> Jeez, sorry. On this map where energy is so scarce, you really have to rely on solar collectors only. Wind is cheap, if you can get it. But not on a map like this, you can't. It's all solar. The wind is only like four, which you wouldn't even make cost even if you tried it. I mean, it's a freaking moon. <laughs> That's literally the kind of map it is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, here's the bush. Here's the flank. Nobi, you can't help, can you? You don't see it. You're focused on flower. Oh, Sabotage coming in with, what's he got? Two rocket bots, five plasma bots, and he's only got back here one, two tanks coming up, three instigators, and oh, uh oh, oh, that's it, leveler. These things are horrifying against bots. Oh, bang. Oh, yep, yep, yep. That's it. If they don't, if it doesn't just rush right in the middle, I mean, they can tank a little bit, but not versus rocket bots, which counter them pretty hard. Yep, there it goes. But. Uh, they're not even gonna get to kill anything except like maybe one solar. Yep, killed one. Not worth it. Not worth it. What am I missing? Shoot. I gotta stop zooming in. Uh. So, they're expanded. Oh, past there, but they're doing. These AKs are sweeping in. They're finding the undefended stuff, just sniping it dead. Perfect. That's exactly what you do. Oh. The instigators are doing work. Good, good. What are we looking at? We're not going to see tier 2. Not in a match like this. It's it's always tier 1, usually. Unless a game like 2v2, which goes on longer. Especially on a metal-rich map like this. When the lines get so drawn, you have to worry about so many fronts at once. Especially when your try-hard players are really making you sweat like this. You defend one side, you get hit from the back, you get hit from the front, all at the same time. Sabotage is really good at that. You really have to just really up your macro, up your micro game to do everything at once. <laughs> Queuing commands really helps when to keep your buildings going while you're getting your units in the field moving. Keeping them... Uh oh Oh, tank assault. Yep, that's death. That's death. Tank assaults, if they're not stopped by enough of those, maybe. Janus is pretty... is really gonna hit them hard if, if they don't get caught. And just as I say that... Uh-oh. He's not going for him. He's not going for the Janus, though, but they, they can outrun these. What's he gonna kill, though? He's gonna sweep in behind, isn't he? He's gonna kill Flower. If he, he's, oh, oh, yep, he's not gonna take, he's not gonna pass it up. Novi, good, good, good on you, yes, yes. That, that's 150, that's 450 metal, 600, 750, can I get 900? Can I get 1,000? Oh my god, oh my god, that is so much solar, so much metal and solar collector is just utter scrap. That is the loss. In a game like this, that is the loss. You do not want to have that happen. Of course, he has um, advanced solars now. Those are risky on a, a map like this because advanced solars will cost 5,000 energy. Uh, normal solar just only costs 150 metal, and that's it. No energy cost. That's their advantage over winds. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. There's the air switch. 
with the core blade wing EMP drones. I was wondering if we'd see these. Yes, pretty devastating, especially against tanks. They just catch these so easily. But, mm, infantry, it's harder sell. They can they can shoot them pretty well. AKs have better chance at that because they're laser bots, but uh, the tanks with their plasma cannons, no chance, no chance whatsoever. They will catch the tanks, they'll stun them, and then everything else will kill them. That's what their game is. Core, T1 air, devastating. Absolutely devastating. The Armada T1 air would get an attack gunship to go after back row economy, but um, this is a, for strictly for mobile units. They will absolutely just wreck you if you're not ready for it. The air switch, one of the most devastating things in bar. Mm. What do we have? Oh my gosh, how many constructors do you have? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, he's got a lot of, are we gonna see it? He's, he's making air. He's making an air factory too. Does he know Sabotai has one? What's he hoping to accomplish though? I mean, if you're going air and he's already air, are you actually going to... That's what I'm worried about. Is he going to lose his commitment to units in the field? And then, are they going to lose a game because of that? There's no AA. Though, there's no, there's no anti-air going on here that I can see. I mean, you could build a SAM site at least to try and stop the blade wings. Try to put some defenders or some pulverizers up. Light missile towers. Uh... See... That, that's what I worry about when you do these raids. If you just run into units and die, it's useless. You've gotta kill something. You've gotta kill something worth it. At least make cost. I mean, think of that tank rush back here. It's like, what, 2,000 metal in tanks? They killed almost as much worth that in solars. If you kill the energy, that's that's really good. That's worth it. Oh, building a warden here, but is it going to be enough? It, it's really good versus tier 1 bots. It's really good versus the Rockos, the rocket bots. Wait, he's got storms because his core is just about the same. A little stronger. <laughs> core tier 1 bots are much less diverse than the arm bots, but they are quite a bit tougher. He's got <laughs> flowers just hoovering up everything with these fast construction vehicles, but they are able to get caught by the tanks because they're not watching. They're not even stopping. They're just they're just rolling through. This is probably actually the thing to do. I mean, if you've got with how tough these things tend to be, don't even make them stop. Just keep reclaiming because they're gonna make back what you caught what they cost you to build and all the reclaim that they will get back so quickly if you can catch the reclaim. And that is how you win. If you catch the, the graveyards, catch the reclaim fields, that's the game. You win. All that metal. <laughs> Even your own units. If you lose your own units, that's how you win. You just sweep in with your res bots, sweep in with your constructors. Anything you can get your hands on, grab it. And Flower is doing pretty good there. By the, on the other hand, I'm really surprised we're not seeing any Resbots and Sabotai right now. I mean, there's Rex here, but maybe he just doesn't think he can catch the Reclaim. Nope. Yep, Sabotai calls it. Flower is making bombers. He's, he's making our air scouts fighters. Why are you making fighters? Are you anticipating the air from this guy? There says there's nothing. He should be making bombers if I were reading this right. See, Sabotai is just making blade wings because they're really doing work here. He's stunning the tanks so that his bots can push in. <laughs> That's how you do it. But he doesn't have that many bots that can actually follow up. See, if you stun with your tier one blade wings, but your ally doesn't have the forces to push in and kill things, then what, what was it worth? What was it for? See, they're up here, stunning what's already 
about pretty much dead. There's these tanks moving here, and they're just killing flower. Oh, oh my gosh. When did he go tier 2? Flower has reclaimed his tier 1 vehicle factory, which is what you do. And he's already going... He's building landmines, too. I can't, will he see it? Oh my gosh. He's not going to see it, is he? He's going to run right into it. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh. That was quite a lot of damage there. I didn't run over all of them, but did run over several. Enough to scare him off with the heavy tank. That's the little dog. That is Arms Tank. The tier 2 heavy tank. I was wondering. I was really wondering if we'd see any of that action. I guess when the game hits 16 minutes. Almost 17. Especially in 2v2 like this. Yes. 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 Blade Wing stun. Your allies come in. Your allies kill. That's that's teamwork. That's teamwork right there. <laughs> Meanwhile, East is really lacking for units right now, too. They've got a lot of tanks, but nothing that can really stand up to bulldogs. Yeah, unless these just die, like suicide straight in. But they're much, much superior range, much superior power. They're just going to completely overwhelm everything in the tier 1 arsenal. There's just nothing that can stop bulldogs. I mean, in a straight up fight, unless you get like really stupid lucky and you surround it with infantry, then you can really kill them quickly with the chew up DPS and the flanking bonus double damage. But, uh, not going to see that here, it doesn't look like. Uh, he's scouting with way too many scouts that he needs. He doesn't even have bombers. He has like two bombers. He's looking to see if anyone... He's going to see everything. He's going to see if anyone is going tier 2, which they are not. That's good. It means you have no hard counters. We have nothing that can hard counter bulldogs. You don't even have anti-air. Is it going to scare him enough to make... Oh, there's one anti-air. See, that's what I wonder about. There it is. He's going to queue up a ton of anti-air now. <laughs> That's what I always wonder about when you when you um, scout with air. People suddenly think, oh crap, oh crap, they're making bombers, we gotta build SAM sites like now. I mean, you can start doing that at any time. Like, if you know your enemies go on ground, but they, you suspect they might air switch. After a certain number of minutes, you can kind of guess when it would be a good time for them to make air when they can actually afford that. Yep, there it is. But, will it be enough? They... Ooh. They're gonna kill quite a few. This is what's gonna kill it, though. This is the hammer blow. This is the hammer on the anvil right here. The tanks rolling through the base, killing all of the solars, all of the energy. If they get the advanced ones, that there it is. Just like Nobi. Just like Nobi's tank rush, which did so much damage. Zuck is just getting his economy shredded. Over two-thirds gone. 75% gone. He moves on with his tanks, just carving a bloody path. <laughs> An oil-stained path. Oil and whatever else robots have. Gas? Anyway. The tanks are the perfect pusher units for this. Their health will carry them right on through, and their damage, so consistently, can just obliterate your opponent. It, it really, really hurts to have happen to you while you're trying to go tier 2, especially when you don't have, even have your forces um, set up quite yet. Flower has had a chance to get his tanks out, but no one else has even had a chance to go tier 2. Wait. So... We're still 2-1-2 two and two on Commanders, but East has been eviscerated by the tank rush. There's nothing left to stop this. And Zuck Commander is about to pop. There it goes. Boom. Oh my gosh, yes. Now, if that had happened earlier, get the 2,000 Metal Commander wreck, if it had happened earlier, that would have been enough to rush right there. Oop, that's it. That's it, folks. That's game. And West wins. <laughs> that was fun. Okay.
that was a really high level match. I'm glad I got to show you guys some tier 2 play. I mean, admittedly, admittedly it didn't really change things much. The Bulldogs came out, they were, they were able to stop Nobi's tanks, but then they didn't quite get a chance to push. Because Flower, I guess, wanted to amass a bunch of tanks, but Sabatai had, like, t through two, three times as many in T1 tanks. Uh, Nobi, you did a lot of good work there, though. I mean, killing Flower's forward base and all those solars. I didn't even count, but you got a, well over a thousand metal worth of solars there. Uh, but if you had been able to push back through to the main base, you probably could have killed a lot more. You might have even been able to stop the T2. Sabotai, though. Sabotai was the real threat here. Constantly putting pressure on Zuck, going around towards the back, going at the front, hanging up at the same time back here, and then catching him off guard with the blade wings. That, that was so many moves, so well executed. Zuck, though, still did a lot of good pressure putting a lot, he attacked pretty well up here against Sab, Keep, kept Sab on his toes for a while. Everyone really had to do their best effort, but this, everyone has also had a lot of ch chance to practice on this map too. Common Catcher, one of the top maps to play. Everyone has had a chance, everyone knows the ins and outs of it. Flat map, perfect for tanks, perfect for vehicles. And that's what we saw, that and bots, which I'm still surprised by, but hopefully we'll see some more surprises to come, hmm? Well, this is Seto Kaiva signing off. I will see you guys next time.